So it's finally here. It took three years, but I finally got the passport. Had a lot of fucking problems, some COVID related, and certain family members trying to sabotage us from getting one for reasons only they know. But I finally got it, and then. Later on, more closer to getting it, I had problems with uh, the counter signatures because this is uh, my first uh, adult passport. I had one as a child, so as an adult, I needed to have a like, counter signature, and I didn't know that the person that I picked to counter sign it had to have a full British passport as well. So the first person I took it to. Didn't have one, so I got the form sent back. Second person said they had one, but I don't think they realised that their passport had expired. So I got that sent back again. And there was a load of crap, because I don't have any friends in the UK. Well, I do have friends. I've got them, um, not like recent friends or friends out of virtual reality. Well, I've got recent friends. So... Before I offend somebody and saying I've got no friends, um, I do have like YouTube subscribers who I consider friends, like uh, Michael Gadford, and he's from the UK, and um, Frederick the Prepared Norseman, and I've got uh, Tomiko and Hiromi and Hiro who are in Japan. So I've got friends. They're not, like, people who I've met. They're not people that I've met outside of virtual reality. So I have friends. Or people that I consider friends, but I've never actually met. I'm a bit of a recluse. I'm a, I don't like people that much. So I don't have friends. Well, I have got friends recently that I worked with, like Aiden and Richard. I consider them friends, but I can't use them because for the counter signatory, the person has to know us for over two years and has to have a British passport. So just before I found anyone saying, 
I don't have any friends or anything. I do have friends, but like I say, not friends that I personally know that I've met, apart from one, but... Yeah, so... If I talk to you a lot on YouTube, or sometimes on YouTube, and I say I don't have friends, don't get offended by it, I do consider you a friend. I just, like, in real life, I don't have friends. So, that's as simple as I can explain it, but, yeah. So, also as work-related with, like, Aiden and Richard, like I say, they've got knows over two years, so I couldn't have picked them, so... And Richard might watch this and say, well, why the fuck didn't you not pick me? If you picked me, I would have fucking done it. Well, I can't, so, you know. Two years I need to know on your phone. I'd only been there for five months. So, anyway. So, most recently I had a lot of problems with the counter signatures as well. And, uh... I'm very uh, limited on the number of people that I could pick. There was one guy who was a friend of my dad's. He was known as for over two years, and like I say, we thought he had a uh, passport, but he doesn't. And there, uh, the second person was, uh, he worked at the local surgery. He was again more of a friend of my dad's, like a family friend. But uh, we took it there, and the people at the surgery were like, no, it has to be a GP. She can't do it, so the GP check the records and everything. I've never had any medical conditions, so I've never had to see my GP. So they've turned around and says, well, he's never been here, we've never met him, we don't know him, so well, I'm not going to sign it. So that was that. So the other person who worked there went to her house, but uh, she was like, I don't really know him either, so I've met him once or twice. And this was decades ago when she knew us, but... She just says, don't know you personally, so I'm not going to sign it. not going to help you. So it's like, fuck you then. I hope you don't need anything from me because I'm not going to fucking help you. And uh, the third person was again somebody. No, sorry. the four... How many times have I done this? Three times now for the counter signature. I've pretty much given up on this, on getting a passport. And for me, it's a really big thing. I know most people, it's just a passport doesn't mean anything, but... For me, it's a key to a future worth living for, worth looking for, looking forward to. So if I can't get out of the country, then I don't really like living in this country. So I'm not going to get fully into it, but for me, it's a very important thing. <laughs> so I've pretty much given up on this. And if I give up on this, then like I said, I give up on having... A future worth looking forward to. I've got to pick how I choose my words. Because YouTube al algorithm. If I use the S word then. The video will probably getting taken down. But uh. Yeah so. This has been very important that I get it. And uh. I didn't actually think I would get it. But the third person again it was a family member. Who knew me as a child. And uh, luckily they signed it. They've got a full British passport. So because of them, I got this. So huge thanks to them. So that's my passport now. All of the stress and depression and anxiety has been lifted. I feel like I've got something... To look forward to in life now so I did a video last year or two years ago on why I couldn't get a British passport I'll put that video in the description so you can see all of the shit that I've gone through up until that point when I did the video and now this video now a year or two years later I finally got the bastard so that's it it's finally here and it's finally reality's hit us that I can actually do things now. I've got a future to look forward to and everything is good. I don't feel any anxiety or depression or anything. It's awesome. So I see it to most people. It's just a passport. It means nothing. But to me, 
It's something I've been wanting for a long time. And even the threat of me doing something negative towards myself wasn't enough for a certain family members to give us the thing that I needed to get this. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so it's finally here. Reality set in. I've got a future. I've got a lot of stuff I need to get rid of and a little bit of money to save up which might take another month or two and that's it I'm going to use this and start my new future in a different country so that's just a real quick little video I've got my passport now life is good thanks for watching <clears throat>